Today, I'm just on Portsdown Hill near Fort Southwark. Fort Southwark was built in 1870 to defend the naval base, but in World War II, it had a different purpose, helping to prepare for D-Day. And as such, they dug a load of secret tunnels underneath Portsdown Hill and Fort Southwark in particular, where 700 members of staff were there helping prepare the naval forces for D-Day and all the operational stuff they're doing on the day. And today, I've been invited to check out those secret tunnels so let's go have a look and see what's underground. Okay, so I'm in. This place is like, it's just like a maze, absolute maze. So what I'm gonna do is walk around, see what we see, hopefully get some good footage. Which way, which way? Looks like a good choice. Stop what is the question really, isn't it? The old light fittings, here we go. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go head up this way first. Right, so there's meant to be some stairs behind here. Let's see what we see. It's all really super creepy. So I'm assuming this is another exit out up to Southwark Fort. I didn't come in this way, so this is new to me. It's quite claustrophobic, I have to say. Oh. But I'm trying to imagine what it would have been like on D-Day so on the 6th of June, there were 700 people down here helping naval operations. Insane to think. Oh gosh, we really have come up quite a way. More steps. Oh. I think I'm gonna go back. I've just paused the video for a moment because often you'll see films like this on YouTube where people are looking at World War II structures and not truly understand the context because obviously I'm walking around and it's all dark and dank but the reality was in World War II it was very very different so what I'm going to do now very quickly is just show you some photos from the archives from D-Day and around that period and then we'll get back into um, exploring the rest of the tunnels today. So what I'm starting to see, loads of corrugated roofing, just how they're kind of securing these tunnels and making the walkways as you can see. But then something that they've just left bare back in the 1940s and you can just see the chalk and how they must have ruggedly dug it out. Dug it out of this cliff face, Ports Down Hill. Let's see what's down here. Well. Whoever's office this is, I don't think I would have envied them. Not the nicest of working environments, is it? Uh, I'll leave that. So, let's carry on. Uh, it looks some kind of electronics in here. Now, obviously, this was a was a communication centre, wasn't it? Underground. Communications. Now these do look a bit more modern day though, so it'll be interesting to look at the history. I think this place was used in the Cold War as well during the 60s, so that would probably explain these more modern looking items. Crazy stuff. So let's carry on. I 
to admit, I'm starting to feel quite claustrophobic now. Um, but we'll carry on. I think that's in part because the, uh, the gents who, who manage this tunnel system who've given me access today, they've just turned all the lights off. So now it's just me, head torch, and a torch on this camera as we look around. So, yeah. You can't help but think, what if my lights run out? Hopefully it won't happen. Let's keep going anyway. So, what were these? Hard to say, but it looks like these are to uh, place those canisters in we just saw in the previous room. Look, oh, there's some air, gas, whatever it is, various tools. I'll keep going. Oh, it's such a crazy place. Oh, looks like the light's back on. Okay, sound advice. So yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? 700 people underground, they're gonna need toilets. And this is what they had to deal with. Uh, it's all been removed and blocked out, it looks, or blocked up rather. But, God, what a strange place to be. Now, kind of imagining now, it's D-Day, 6th of June, 1944. I'm meant to be at my desk, and I've just come and sat down on this loo. Doesn't really bear thinking about, does it? Here we go, what else we got? Let's just keep going on down here. Yeah, there's none, none, none that lose in there anymore. Your iron ores. Oh, that little place for us to duck into. Oh, right here. And here we go. More toilets. So these are the only toilets I've seen. Well, maybe enough. If 30 people want to go in one go. You'd hope on D-Day they'd hold it though, wouldn't you? It's not just these really small tunnels in here, or these low ceiling tunnels. You've also got these huge cavernous rooms as well. I hope you get an idea of the, uh, just the scale of this place. It's so easy to get lost. Although, there's a handy exit sign. I just hope it's pointing the right way. I thought I'd just turn the camera light off, just give you a better idea of how dark this place is. So, this is what it's like without that camera light on. Pretty mad. This is our little wonder. Now I don't mind admitting, I have no idea where I'm going. It's not like they give you a map. Let's just try going down here. Nope. I think that's the wrong way. Now what might be worth mentioning is, at the moment, um, it's the hottest day of the year, but it is freezing cold down here, or at least it's very cool. Um, but you can see the water starting to drip down his arm. Can you see that? Hang on. You can see the condensation gathering. All right, and I'm here. So it's very wet, damp, cold and dank, especially when you turn that main camera light off. I've just found what looks like a bar. Let's go check it out. Seats. Well, it'd be a good place to have a drink if the, uh, if the apocalypse was happening. Now, I don't know how old this bar is, but if you look at the carling pump, it's obviously been used in more modern times at some point. But look at the state of that old bar. Some kind of mock fireplace. Cool. 
Definitely one star on TripAdvisor. Just found a new section I've not seen before, so. Yeah. Not really somewhere I'd want to be uh, taken in case of a med medical emergency. So, go for it here. Uh, it's like an old police riot shield. Let me put the floodlight on. You see it a bit better. Random. Which way to go? I've been in here for a, maybe an hour now, and I still don't think I've seen everything. Well, look here, you can see what this would have actually, all these seams would have been lined with. Is the original panels, they're still on. Unlike a lot of the other rooms around here, so. Obviously, we wouldn't be really, back in the 1940s on B-Day, you wouldn't have seen the bare corrugated iron and the struts. He would have had this, uh, would have had this lining on it. Here it is, it's all started to rot and come away. Look at the ceiling there, there you go. Wow, amazing stuff. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna see if I can find my way out of here now. Hopefully, we'll be able to get out. Which way do you choose? I'm gonna try this way. But it's been a great day. I'll see you guys on the other side. Well, managed to escape. I'm alive. Um, what an incredible adventure. I mean, those tunnels are amazing. I wanna look a bit more into the history, put some notes on the YouTube description so you can um, learn a bit more about them and the story that they possibly hold from D-Day. Um, if you like these sort of adventures, just, just subscribe, like the video. Um, I try to release videos like this once a couple of times a month, at least, of the Hampshire and New Forest area in particular. Take care, guys. See you soon. Mm -hmm.